Again, I'm Paul Matthews with the Cannon Ranch. Anyway, I was going to talk a little bit about why we brand calves and have this chaos going on around us once a year. Um, you see these guys on horses with ropes branding these calves. Um, it's kind of the Old West style where we put a rope on the head and then somebody heals them and stretches them out. Um, ideally, that's a, a safe way to handle these, these calves, both for the people and for the cattle. In, in our roping these bigger calves and stuff, we don't put rubber on the saddle horns. We just have a, a mule hide uh, wrap. That lets the rope slide a little bit, which is a little bit safer for the calves. We, we have to do a few things for these calves' health. Um, generally, when we brand, we put a brand on them. It's a legal way to show that ownership of the cattle. Um, these in this pen today already have ear tags in their ears because they are from the purebred cows and we tag them at birth so we know who their mother is. Um, the rest of the calves out on the ranges, they don't already have an ear tag. And so we'll put an ear tag in there so people can easily identify that they're our calf. We know what herd they belong to and then we know whether they're a steer or a heifer. We're real, really creative with that way. Pink goes to heifers, blue goes to the steers or the boys. In this particular herd here, the blue tag calves, we're not castrating today, a few of them, but not many of them, because this is our seed stock herd, and we'll use a lot of these uh, bulls out of here as, as bulls in our breeding operation later on in life. And this is kind of a community event where all ranchers within a, a, a close proximity to us are, are invited to the branding. In the old days, in the old west, that was kind of important. Um, and it still is today because we have neighbors and, and we have cattle that get mixed up. And this is kind of the um, social acceptable way to let everybody take a look at the cattle and make sure that we're branding cattle that are ours and not theirs. It's fun for these guys that work all year long to have this one time a year where they can come and ride and rope and be together. We're vaccinating these calves with two shots today. One is an eight-way shot. In the soils around here, there are certain bacteria that live and cause, called clostridial bacteria. These calves can pick that up and get sick and die. So by giving them this vaccine, it ensures better health of the calves and ultimately keeps them alive without any antibiotics or anything. The other vaccine is for pneumonia. As these calves um, are weaned from their mothers in September and October, it's a stressful time in their life and we want to make sure they have the antibodies in their system to not get respiratory diseases when they're weaned. Today in this branding culture, another reason why they do this and they involve the kids and young people a lot whenever they can, is a lot of these cowboy traditions are passed down from generation to generation and they like to preserve the history or the culture. If we don't invite the kids and teach them how to handle in the cattle in these ways and, and do these things, then if they lose it one generation, it's gone. And so we kind of work hard to preserve the cowboy way and the, and, and the, the culture of the, the Western lifestyle. Um, in doing that, there's a lot of skills and techniques that these guys do that make this look easy. But if people that weren't trained in it were doing it, that'd be a real disaster, you know? It's how you hold your rope, how you throw your slack, how you flank a calf. All, all of the things that you do have to be taught and practiced, and if they're not, it's it's lost you know and so that's why people also are so willing to volunteer their time and effort to come here as they they look for those opportunities to teach their children and practice their skills so how about that josh <laughs>